We have the latest bulletin coming in from the National Hurricane Center. So a drum roll, please. Again, just notice this intensity that we're seeing those colder cloud tops. It's displaced from where the worst weather is because I'm in a 3D mode here. Uh, but here it is. Whoa, check this out. Category 2 storm based on the pressure down to 972 and because we were seeing those 100 mile an hour winds on the velocity and uh, I'll have to check with uh, the reconnaissance and that actual bulletin, but now a category two storm. So that is a little bit of a surprise, even as this makes landfall and there's always one storm, every, just about every storm, there's one big surprise and here we are. It is a category two, but that was in the forecast for the most part. So it's a low end category two, 100 mile per hour winds, but it's moving fast. That is the good news, but uh, officially a category two storm now uh, and rolling to the northeast at about 17. Let's take that forecast track, which uh, is still pretty much right along the Terrebonne uh, 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 St. Mary Parish line. That looks like it's a pretty good call. It will weaken down to a tropical storm later on this evening. But again, notice your tropical storm force winds. Uh, this hasn't fully updated. I think this will populate uh, within the next hour, but you see those hurricane force winds working their way through St. Mary, Lower St. Martin, uh, Terrebonne, Lafourche parishes, and the river parishes south of the Baton Rouge area. Baton Rouge is certainly going to have higher winds than we'll have here in Lafayette. So that is the big story right now and the breaking news for the most part. Now Hurricane Francine is up to a category two storm. Remember we said we saw a little bit of an eye developing earlier and this convection that's firing up is uh, enough to get the whole storm going. And at the beginning of the loop, we had the big convection on the western side of the storm. Uh, now it's kind of wrapped around and is manifesting on the northeastern quadrant. And we think that's going to wrap around on onto the uh, northern part of the storm. So again, this is a serious situation for our friends in St. Mary Parish. The winds are just minutes to hour, maybe an hour away from getting to hurricane force and it's going to be very rough for our friends down in St. Mary Parish as we we move forward uh, through the evening hours. Again, category two storm pressure has dropped four millibars uh, based on the probably last minute hurricane hunters. They can fly into the storm, but they can't go inland too much because that's when uh, the uh, air gets so choppy and you get that violent turbulence. So they're flying offshore out here and based on the buoy data for sure. And I'll take a look at the latest bulletin. Uh, Francine now upgraded to a category two storm at the last possible moment just as it's making landfall and you never want to see these storms actually intensifying as they run into land because that intensification momentum carries into the inland parishes. So this may be a two for much of St. Mary and Terrebonne Parish before it begins to weaken significantly as it works its way farther inland. And as we said, remember a lot of this area of Louisiana is all coastal marsh. So it's still kind of drawing the latent heat of evaporation from uh, the water and the and much of the uh, wetlands that we have across southeast Louisiana, uh, but certainly a little bit of a surprise. And as I said yesterday, the hurricanes, tropical storms, they're like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get until you kind of bite into it and see how it's doing. And right now, uh, Hurricane Francine is biting into uh, the southeastern parishes of Acadiana. But the good news is for the rest of Acadiana, the weather's not going to be too terribly bad, but the winds are going to pick up area wide as we go through the next four hours. The winds are going to pick up in Lafayette as well. We're going to see gusts to 30, maybe to 40. There's going to be sporadic power outages out anywhere in the yellow. But you get into this red. Do look for widespread power outages. I just checked uh, with uh, one uh, resource, and there were already about 2,000 folks without 2,000 customers without power in St. Mary Parish, and that number is going to go up exponentially as the, that uh, big heavy-duty rain band works its way on in. Any changes with the watches and warnings? Sometimes this takes a little while to improve as well, uh, but we still have the hurricane warnings for Upper St. Martin Parish, good chunk of Vermilion Parish, all of Iberia, St. Mary, Lower St. Martin Parishes. But again, I think the worst hurricane conditions will be eastern portions of Acadiana, eastern portions of uh, St. Mary Parish on eastward into the river parishes of Louisiana. 